My ex demands child support for a kid that is not mine. My mother and sister are on her side. Author is mentioned in the description. Some years ago, I dated a girl, the relationship was bad, she was very controlling and abusive, it ended up really bad and we broke up. I kept going on with my life, and after some years I got a decent job, enough to solve all my needs, have a comfortable life and make some savings. The thing is, a couple months after getting my job, my ex contacted me. She first asked me to talk. I believe that she may want to reconnect or something, but she showed up with a five-year-old child, claiming he was my son and demanding for child support. I didn't believe her, but the child age matched the time since we cutted contact. I got advice from a lawyer a friend of mine to try to solve this out of the court. I offered to take responsibility pay all the costs and being an active part of the kid's life, only after making a DNA test. Everyone was okay with this except for my ex. She acted offended and demanded to just give her the money she deserved. She used all the excuses she could, even contacted my family to told them I was trying to avoid taking responsibility of her child. When she ran out of excuses, and the DNA test was finally made, and surprise, I'm not the father. She was so mad with the result, and cried about the money, saying it was unfair and she deserved it. But she didn't accomplish anything. Moving on to the last week, there was a little party on my parents' house. My brother, a friend and I were talking, and my brother started to joke about the situation with my ex. My friend and I started to joke about it too. Some of our comments were a little dark and bad, though we were far away from the rest of the people literally we were on the opposite side of the house, and nobody else could hear us, at least that was what we thought. We were logging like crazies when my sister appeared very angry and pushed me against the wall. She spied us and heard our conversation and she was really mad. She started to yell at us about how horrible people we were for being moking of a poor woman. A few hours later, when the party ended, she asked me to go to the kitchen with our parents and she started to say how awful I was for the previous situation. Apparently, my ex had been in contact with her and she believed her version and that was her way to have an intervention. My brother and I were like are you serious? When she started to say how I forced my ex into be a single mother and that I have the moral obligation to help her. My dad only said that we maybe were being too cruel making jokes of her, but that I wasn't responsible for that kid. My mom then surprised all of us when she said even if the kid is not yours, you are making more than enough money to support that child. You should have helped her. Since then, I had been receiving texts. My dad and my brother are on my side, saying I'm not responsible for her, but my sister is telling me how horrible I am for being ruining their lives. My mom only said it's your decision and I respect it. I'm just very disappointed that you ended up being so selfish. I'm aware that she doesn't deserve my money and I'm not planning to give her any, but the constant harassment of my sister trying to guilt me, it's just exhausting. Top comment. Tell your sister if she's so concerned she should give your ex money, since she has as much to do with conceiving the child as you did. Update 1. It's been a while. After my last post, I read all the comments and decided to show them to my mother. We had a talk about the situation. Again, she started on my ex's side, but after reading the post and all the comments and opinions, she realized she was wrong. I think the thing that hurted her the most was all the doubts about if she cheat on my dad and I wasn't his son, and if that was the reason if she was on her side. We had a very long conversation. She told me that she believed my ex because she was always so nice and kind with her, that she decided to don't believe me when I told her all the things she did to me during the relationship, because a good girl like her could never do something like that, so, I must be lying. After that, she apologized to me. We are good now. On the other side, my sister at first she decided that she wouldn't talk to my until I'll take responsibility, but after some days I talked with her. She is totally on her side, even after showing her everything. She said that none of that matter, because a woman's word go first, and that's all the proof anyone could need. Also, she said that even if you are not the biological father, you have an effective responsibility with her, so, you must be man enough to take charge of them and start acting like a real man. She was a lost cause, about my ex. I did some research, and I found out that, shortly after we broke she started dating another guy or maybe she was cheating me with him before, I'm not sure. They broke some weeks later, and she had multiple dates until she found she was pregnant. I also found that she had been trying to find a father to her kid for the last two years, and I was the next on the list. But looks like she is desperate now, because she was never that aggressive with any other one before. Now, the reason of this post. Some days ago, my ex and my sister came to my workplace. They made a big sign with my face, that says he abandoned his child and irresponsible father, 
and started a drama saying all their bullshit. Their intention was to shame me and use the social prison to force me to take charge of them they literally said it. To don't make the story too long, they were taken out of the place. I got problems for that scandal, even after showing all the proofs and legal documents that showed they were lying. I was earned that this better never happen again or I'll be fired. After that I contacted my friend, the lawyer, and we are now redacting a very long a detailed paper against them my ex and my sister too. They were too far, now I'm going against them with everything. Maybe that scare them enough to leave me alone. Top comment, good luck with the restraining order, OP's response, and a defamation lawsuit, and everything my friend can add too. Update 2. Hi everyone, and sorry for the lack of news, last weeks had been crazy with a lot of stuff, but I think now is a good moment to update you all. First of all, I'm not allowed to talk a lot about the lawsuit. The most I can share to you is that my ex was extremely freaked out when she knew about it. She is now begging to drop it. She offered to take back everything she said, to never bother or even contact me again. She even tried to guilt me saying that I would be ruining her and her son's life. But honestly I don't care, I got tired of be the good guy long time ago. She messed with me, now I'm fixing back. And for my sister, the lawsuit at first only made her worst. As her attempt to shame me and my job didn't work as good as she wanted, she moved it to social media, spreading her BS about me abandoning my child or not taking responsibility, and exposing my legal actions like acts of censorship and misogyny. But at the end, that will be worse for her, not only because I can dismiss her defamation easily, but also as more evidence to our favor. Anyways, this is going to be a long road, and we are just beginning. Recently, we had a posada on my parents' home. Every year we use this excuse to make a big family party before Christmas. I had my doubts, because I didn't want it to be near my sister, but after some relatives assured me that she wouldn't be there, I decided to go. Big mistake, she was there. Mom decided that, despite everything that happened, I was taking all this too far, so she wanted all us to meet to solve this problem as a family. I tried to get out of there the moment I realized what she intended. But some relatives tried to stop me while my mom cried that I needed to stop, that I was tearing apart the family and needed to learn to forgive and let go. I realized that, despite everything, even knowing I was telling the truth, she was still on my sister's side. I got out there, saying her that I'm not attending any family event again if she is there, and to don't ever think on trying this BS again. At this point, almost all my family knows what she did. Some of them think my sister is crazy, some other think she is crazy but I'm taking it too far. A couple days ago, mom invited me to sewn Christmas with them. I didn't wanted to go after what she did, but I decided to give her a chance after she swear that wouldn't happen again. But not only she had planned to do it again, my brother warned me that this time she intended to lock me in until I forgive my sister and stop the nonsense. I called my mom and told her I knew and that I was done with her and my sister. To don't talk to me until she realized she supported the wrong person and to apologize. I don't need to say how many times she tried to call me the following hours and all the drama she made when I didn't showed up for Christmas. But, again, I'm tired of be the good guy. So, that's it for the moment. Hope all you had a nice Christmas and I wish you for a happy and drama-free new year. Top comment, thank you for the update and good luck with the lawsuit. This internet stranger is rooting for you. New update 3. Hi to all that's still here. It's been a while, mire than a year, and I think now is a good time to give an update about everything that happened with my life during the last year. Lots of things happened, lots of things had changed. The lawsuit, to be short, I won. We didn't get into trial, all got solved in conciliation meetings. My lawyer's strategy was to add all the things we could think, from the harassment, the defamation, to the attempts to put my job in risk, parental fraud, everything. The idea was to scare the shit out of them, and if that didn't work, there would be lots of charges against my ex and my sister. My sister kept calling it a bluff, and kept posting all her BS on social media. Things she she regret now, as every single word she posted against me, came back to bite her ass when it was used as proof. My ex took back everything she said, a seer for my forgiveness after seeing that she would lose a lot, so she ended up accepting to compensate the damages off court, and left my sister alone in a battle she started. When my sister realized how big things really were, that she was alone now, and she will lose, she freaked out, deleted every single post she did, tries to pretend she never did what she did. But at that point we had all the backups, screenshots and recordings we needed. On the last conciliation meeting she broke down crying, begging me to forgive her and to don't make her this. But she did this to herself, she had multiple chances to stop, but she kept pushing, 
and ended up facing the consequences of her own stupidity. She had to pay me a good amount, plus all the legal costs. My mother helped her to pay it, but now she has a considerable debt as my dad demanded her to pay them back over the time. For a few months, she resented me for what I did, but we ended up talking and getting back on good terms. Our relationship is damaged but healing. She confessed me she, at the beginning, felt she was fixing for a good reason, for a cause she believed, to defend a poor woman in need. She believed she was doing the rigged thing, so she was sure she had to win at the end. Those ideas were supported by her friends. As she said, those girls were encouraging her to fix, to face me and make me fulfill my obligations, that she was fixing in the name of other women, and those ideas kept on her mind, until things got too real, when she saw there was no way she would win. Then all those girls disappeared. My ex left her alone. All the ones who gave her support wished her luck can go away. So she had no other choice to surrender. So, that's how things ended with them. And for the ones who suspected, no, my sister and my ex weren't on a relationship. I don't know where is my ex, and I don't care. She paid and disappeared, and I hope to never see her again. Some people had told me I went too far with her. Even some called me a monster for ruining a single mother who already was in troubles and some had said I'm not loyal to my family for taking this far the issue instead of solving it inside the family. At this point, I don't care anymore. 2. My mother. For the months the conciliation lasted, my mom went on my sister's side. Multiple times she tried to convince me to stop, from asking me to just let it go, to trying to guilt me for everything she could think, she even threatened me to disown me, to said she would not see me as a son anymore, to separate me from the family. But at the end she couldn't, and was and still is resented. For all those months, and after all was over, I kept asking myself why she does this, why she just kept treating me like this, putting on everyone's side except mine, so, after reading multiple people saying to do this, I finally got to do. 3. The DNA test. After talking about it with my brother and dad, all agreed it was too rare my mom acted like this, and because everything my mom said and implied, my dad had more and more doubts, to the point he was sure she did something. After some beers, a very hard talk, some tears and the promise that, no matters what the result says, to me and my bro he will always be our dad, we made the DNA test. Both of us are his sons. My dad was so relieved, but then very embarrassed for having doubts of his wife's loyalty. He felt very ashamed, so we ended up aggering apologizing yo her for what we did. As I started the talk of the DNA test, I asked to be the first on talk and apologize with her. That nick all of us gathered on my dad's house. We sat around the table and I started by recognizing all the fix and tension we had over the months and apologizing for it. Because, after all, she is my mother, but her behavior make us all wonder and have lots of doubts about why she was being like this. So I suggested all go make a DNA test. Rick after saying that, my mom went livid, and half a second later her face went red, got up from the chair, and throw at me, pulling my hair, scratching and hitting me, screaming why you did this I hate you you had no Rick. My father and my brother separate her from me. She immediately started to ask for forgiveness to my dad. My dad was surprised, and furioso, when he told her that I was about to apologize to her, because the results said we were his sons, her face was a mix of fear and desperation. Her reaction told us everything. I never saw my dad so angry. She confessed that long ago she had an affair for a long time, until she got pregnant of me. She never knew if she got pregnant by my dad or by her lover, as they rarely use condoms and she multiple times let him finish inside. All this years she had the doubt about who was my real father, and she pretended to take this secret to the grave. But now, she exposed herself. And now all made sense. That was the reason she always treated me like this. That's why she always put everyone's else word before me. Dad throwed her away that nix. And in very little time, all the family knew about it. We warned them in case she tried to set any lies. Thing that she hated. Because she called us saying we had no rig to set anything. That she is our mother and we can't say anything against her. 4. The Aftermath So, to conclude this craziness, I want a good amount of money. My brother's still my best friend. My relationship with my sister is damaged, but healing. And she's separate from her toxic and misandric friends. My ex is gone I hope forever this time. Dad is hurt. Mom revealed to be a cheater, but they're not divorcing. She is back at my dad's home, but he has to forgive her. And for what he said, he never will but he don't want to get through a divorce or give her anything he had worked for. On his words, they're married, but they're not a couple, and she now is trying to make her and my dad's forgiveness. And of course, my mom now openly hates me, because, to her, I'm the cause of all her problems. On her words, if you had done what I said, and took charge of the kid, none of this would happen. I hope you're happy now. And that's it. Sorry for the text wall. 
Hope you all had a good 2023 and also wish you a good 2024. I will keep working, saving and trying to build a life away for this madness. I'll probably will cut contact with my mom. But I don't care at this point anymore. Top comment by. My mom now openly hates me, because, to her, I'm the cause of all her problems. If you had done what I said, and took charge of the kid, none of this would happen. I hope you're happy now. It sounds like your mom had such a guilty conscience that she treated you like dirt all of your life. Not that having that info makes any of her actions okay. Now she is blaming you for sticking up for yourself and bringing about her downfall. She did that all on her own. No contact would be best. I'm not sure if you should ever trust your sister again. Though one can hope that she learned her lesson about believing people's BS. Watch your back. Opus's response, thanks. Unfortunately all this BS had made me more cynical and to not trust women now. So I'm watching my back all the time.